Now the warrior robots in disguise are in their own action-packed Transformer comic on sale now from Marvel Comics. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special video showcase, we're going to once again be returning to the Marvel UK Transformers comic. What I'm going to do for the first couple of minutes or so is just a very quick cover to cover review, stopping at anything interesting like fact files and the letters page. And then at the end of that, I'll come back to the beginning. I'll be nice and quiet and I'll give you guys the opportunity. You might need to use your pause button to read these comics again for yourself. So we're already at issue number 65. This was a weekly comic that first came out the 14th of June 1986 and it was 30 pence. So we're into part three of a UK story written by Simon Furman and it's about the special teams and it's about the main introduction of what's known as the Scramble City teams as well. So your Bruticus, Menasaur, Superior and Defensor. Only at the moment, uh, there you go, second generation part three and there is Simon Furman. Only at the moment there's just a little side story going on of who should be the leader of the Decepticons, Megatron or Shockwave. And that's the main part of this whole pretty much entire story as it's being broadcast. And then the Autobots are finding out about it too. The Dinobots come to life as well. Not to life, come back from the sleep or what they've been in since the last time they were used. Um, and yeah, to be fair, that's pretty much what the actual story is about. Again, you will notice that with it being a UK story, the... Um, Artwork's quite dark, some of the figures are actually drawn, or the characters rather, should we say, are drawn a little bit more toy accurate. But you will also notice that it is very small. So that's literally half the comic there, 13 pages in. It's a very small amount of Transformers action. We've got some things here. I know people like to read these and see these. So if I hold this here and say pause, and then the same again there, you've got the opportunity to read the letters page, pause. And then now we've got the fact files. Now the problem I get with this is, actually we can get away with this, usually the opposite way around. So of course there's Blaster, and if I say pause, you can read that. And then the same again there. Oh no, it is the other way around. There we go, <laughs> Soundwave. The picture of them in the different places. There you go, you can read them. So because this is a Marvel comic, the B story is Rocket Raccoon. And again, we now know much more about him because he's one of the members of Guardians of the Galaxy. So we've got quite a few pages here in the back as well. Before we've got the advert for next week's. And then there's a Matt and the Cat story as well there, if you want to read that. And then finally for the review, right on cue, here are the special teams. And I do say this a lot, but I think this is brilliant because this is artwork, this isn't photos, this is what's drawn. And for those of you who didn't realize or have not heard me say it before, there's the deliberate mistake, no Bruticus head, not deliberate at all obviously, that's the mistake they made, no Bruticus head or onslaughts. There you go guys, that's the review, thanks for sticking with me, anybody who wants to read the comic, I'm going to be nice and quiet, again you might need to use your pause button, but here you go.
Okay, guys, there you go. This concludes issue number 65. Hope you enjoyed it and take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.